With continuous rise of domestic violence, the Methodist Church in Fiji have committed on addressing the issue during the Mbose Koviti conference earlier this week. We cannot say we are a saved community if we are not a safe community. And that uh, salvation of the soul uh, must also translate into safe homes, uh, safe families. Uh, and in that sense, uh, we uh, have been working for a number of years on addressing two issues, gender-based violence and violence against children. In that uh, program, we uh, go through some uh, theological studies in which we explain how some of the uh, uh, Bible texts that are used to uh, justify and perpetuate violence against women are wrong. One of the participants, Reverend Seremaya Naureure of Rewanga Methodist, shared a positive view addressed during the conference. Fiji Women's Crisis Coordinator Shamima Ali stated that women also have a vital role to play in society. We have, from the beginning, worked with faith-based organizations, with the Pacific Theological College in the past, with the uh, Pacific Regional Seminary and so on, and that work has continued. So we have realized the importance of the, uh, you know, the influence they have in our daily lives, the teachings of the Bible and so on, and then we also do have discovered that how misinterpretation of the teachings of the Bible actually perpetuates the cycle of violence within homes, you know, like uh, it's a woman's fault, the man is the head of the household, uh, the women need to be submissive and must do all her duties as a mother, as a wife and so on. 65% of women have experienced sexual or physical violence in their lifetime. Although this collaboration will not eradicate the problem completely, it will however give hope for the domestic violence victims in Fiji. This is Nani Sesivo for One Solwara News.